Well, I, I certainly feel that these announcements are uh, really extraordinary. And I can, I can say that just a few uh, months ago, um, I don't think anybody would have really predicted that we would see this kind of announcement at this time, and especially in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, all these countries also have been really severely hit. Uh, by the pandemic, and now we are seeing that they, they uh, in spite of that, the climate change agenda remains a priority. I think it is feasible. I think uh, the, the, the science has told us that we still have a chance to achieve it. And uh, looking at these announcements, I think that we, uh, we should be uh, uh, also having even more hope. Um, so before the announcements were, were made, already the IPCC was saying, yes, we have, we have very little time, but we still can do it. So now we are seeing these you know, very encouraging uh, signs of uh, willingness to take up responsibility and leadership and to comply with commitments made uh, at Paris. So I, I certainly think that there is reason for hope. <laughs> Uh, we are still uh, far from, from there. Even with these incredible announcements, we need, we need much more and we need, we need much more climate action much faster. <laughs>